Hi guys, thank you so much for following along with our preseason golf conditioning program. Today we have part four, we're gonna be focusing on power and control. So the first exercise that we're gonna to do today is a Bulgarian split squat. This is a great exercise because it focuses on building leg and core strength, but also has a semblance of balance and control that's necessary to complete this exercise. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna utilize a step behind me here. We could really be using anything from eight to about 20 inches off the ground as the target behind us. So you could use an ottoman around the house if you wanted to, or a couch or chair. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our, our lead leg in front of us. We're gonna be about 18 to 24 inches away from the step behind us. And then our trail leg's gonna go up onto that step. Now from here, we're gonna drop down into a little squat, driving back up. And we're gonna repeat this eight times on the left leg, and then we'll switch over eight times on the right leg. <clears throat> if that feels too easy for you, you can use a dumbbell or a kettlebell and you can hold that in a goblet type position. So from here, we can load it up a little bit to really focus on building some core control, balance and power. And the idea with this exercise is really to be able to produce power as we're coming through the golf ball, utilizing our legs and our hips to help put force through the golf ball as we're taking the swing. The next exercise we're gonna do is called a shovel pass. We have a couple of modifications for this exercise just based off the equipment that you have at home. The idea with this exercise is trying to introduce proper sequencing into the downswing and producing power through that downswing by getting our weight onto our front foot. So an easy way we can do this without anything at home is gonna be starting up in our setup posture. We're gonna be in our five iron posture and from here, going into our backswing, stepping forward and following through with, some, with a fair amount of speed. Now, that's not necessarily gonna produce the power that we want, so if we have a medicine ball at home, it's even better. So with the medicine ball, what we're gonna do <clears throat> is same thing starting up in our five iron posture. We're gonna rotate back into our backswing, step forward and throw that ball as hard as we can. <clears throat> with this exercise, we're really looking to produce power, so we're gonna cut the reps down to five repetitions total. We wanna be taking a good break in between each rep so that we can really be producing with as much force as we can. Now, if you don't have a medicine ball at home, you can use a weight if you're outside and you're okay throwing a weight into grass. Outside of that, you can use a soccer ball, throwing it to a friend or something along those lines, but we're really looking for something kind of in the eight to 12 pound range is usually a good place for most people, but it may be something you have to get a little bit creative with. The next exercise is about, all about producing power through our legs. During the golf swing, if we're just using our upper body and our hands, we're not gonna be able to hit the golf ball very far. So it's really important to be able to get that weight shift onto our front leg and be able to explode through the ground in order to get power through the golf ball. So this next exercise, we're using a 20 inch box here in the clinic, but if you have an eight inch step at home, if you have an ottoman where you can do this safely, an outdoor step, those all work, work as well. The big thing is just thinking that we're landing softly as we're landing up onto that step. So just like the previous exercise, we're just gonna go five repetitions with this. And again, taking a good break in between each rep so that we're producing as much power as we possibly can each time that we do it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna set up behind our target. We're gonna go down into a little squatting position and jump through the ground, thinking landing nice and softly up on that target. So it's gonna look something like this. And then you can step back down take a quick 30 second break and go right back into it. So the biggest thing here, we're trying to clear that box by as much uh, air as possible and landing nice and soft. So the last exercise that we're gonna talk about is really focusing on single leg balance and stability and our ability to rotate our upper body in that stable position. So this exercise is very difficult. It's a Romanian deadlift and then we have a thoracic rotation built into it. So to make it a little bit easier, what we're gonna do is take a TheraBand, so it doesn't really matter the resistance on this, but what you're gonna do is do a banded pull apart. So you're gonna pull apart across your chest. We're gonna hinge at our hip, coming down into Romanian deadlift position. Hips are gonna stay level, and from here, we're gonna rotate down, back to the starting position, and then rotate up, back to the starting position, stand back up. That would be one repetition. So you can see, I kind of struggle with that exercise. What we really want to do is think, we have a glass of your favorite beverage sitting right on your tailbone, and we don't want to tip 
that glass as we rotate one side versus the other. So with this exercise, it's really important to go slow and try to stay in control throughout the entire time. It's not something where just moving through the motions is gonna do us any good. So with this, we're really looking for two sets of 10 repetitions, keeping it nice and slow, and then we'll switch over onto the opposite foot and do the same motion. As we're following along through this four-part golf conditioning series, hope you found it beneficial and hopefully you were able to take some of these exercises and build them into your routine to get you ready for this spring. If you guys are having any aches and pains or if you have any specific things that you want to work on to get ready for the season, feel free to give us a call. We can get you in for a TPI screening and we'll really look at your swing, break it down, look at how your body moves and build you back up to get you ready for this, this golf season. We'll see you out on the course of the spring. Oh, 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 oh,